On the House floor Friday, Representative Jerry Nadler voiced his support for the Fairness for 9-11 Families Act. The New York Democrat described the legislation as providing, quote, a catch-up payment to thousands of 9-11 victims, spouses, and dependents who were unfairly excluded from the U.S. Victims of State-Sponsored Terrorism Fund when it was first established in 2015. Nadler added that the act would, quote, ensure that they are fairly compensated for their claims against those responsible for one of our nation's darkest days. The country commemorated the 21st anniversary of the terrorist attacks this September. Pursuant to House Resolution 1404, an amendment in the nature of a substitute consisting of the text of Rules Committee Print 117-68 is adopted and the bill as amended is considered read. The bill as amended shall be debatable for one hour, equally divided and controlled by the chair and ranking minority member of the Committee on the Judiciary or their respective designees. The gentleman from New York, Mr. Nadler, and the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan, will each control 30 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from New York, Mr. Nadler. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their, their remarks and insert extraneous material on H.R. 8987. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, the Fairness for 9-11 Families Act would provide a catch-up payment to thousands of 9-11 victims, spouses, and dependents who are unfairly ex excluded from the U.S. Victims of State-Sponsored Terrorism Fund when it was first established in 2015. While no amount of money can ever make up for the incalculable loss that they, that they suffered on September 11th, this legislation would ensure that they are fairly compensated for their claims against those responsible for one of our nation's darkest days. In 2015, Congress created the United States Victims of State-Sponsored Terrorism Fund to provide compensation for individuals with terrorism judgments against designated state sponsors of terrorism. At the time, those who had received payments from the September 11th Victims' Compensation Fund, primarily victims and spouses and children, we precluded from receiving funds from the VSSTF. Their exclusion from the fund led to a perverse result by which other family members who are not eligible for payments under the VCF could receive compensation from the VSSTF, in some cases substantially more than what was paid out under the VCF, while victims, spouses, and children were excluded from the fund despite also having claims. Congress corrected this injustice in 2019, and a year later it tasked the Government Accountability Office with calculating a lump sum catch-up payment that would bring those who initially had been wrongly excluded from the VSSTF into parity with those individuals who had been included in the fund when it was first created. The Fairness for 9-11 Families Act fully funds these catch-up payments, offset by funds no longer needed to implement the Paycheck Protection Program. I want to thank Senators Menendez and Schumer for their partnership on this legislation and for all of their efforts to provide justice and support to 9-11 families over the years. I also want to thank the many victims and family members whose advocacy and determination were essential to bringing this legislation forward. Although nothing can make up for 20 years of missed birthdays, anniversaries, and memories for those who lost loved ones on September 11th, I hope that these funds can provide some measure of comfort and justice to the people whose lives were changed forever that day. As we pass this legislation, we must not forget the survivors and first responders who continue to suffer the health effects of the 9-11 attacks. As I always have, I will, fight, I will continue to fight to ensure that these people have the care they need. We can and we must look after everyone who is affected that fateful day. I urge all members to support the Fairness for 9-11 Families Act, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlemen.